Hi everybody, this is Anna with Homemade Home and I'm going to show you how to make smothered potato slash country fried potatoes. Um, I do these two different ways where with the smothered potatoes I would just put them in a pan with the onions and a little oil with seasoning and then stir it, put a top on it and cook it that way. But with country fried potatoes, you want to fry them first a little to get the whole crispness of the potato. And then you're going to put them in a pan with onions and all of that. So, I've chopped my onions and I've chopped my potatoes. And I'm going to put a little granulated garlic. And you just want to season them and a little seasonal and this was two large large potatoes that I chopped up and then a little measures dash I put measures dash and everything almost. <laughs> I love the seasoning. Okay. Then I am going to put it in hot oil. Not the onions, just the potatoes. I gotta get my oil hot. So I'm gonna bring it back once I get my oil hot and get the rest of the stuff that I need. Okay, so I have my big pan ready. I'm doing grits and eggs too, but I'm gonna throw in about a potato. Just depending on how much oil you have to fry. Okay. Okay, and you're gonna kind of shake. Okay, so my battery went dead. So, okay, what you want to do is you want to shake it every now and then, like inside. That's what people at restaurants do because they have those big old things, you know kind of pick them up a little and then drop them back um that's my uh way you know so <laughs> i'm just telling you what i do anyway <laughs> um and then you just let them fry and i'll bring you back once they have they're almost done okay they have been frying for probably three to four maybe five minutes or so and you see they all floating and they are crispy and I'm putting them straight into my pan so once I get all of them fried up I'm gonna show you what the next step is It does get okay. Next step, you wanna. I haven't fried them all, but I'm gonna go ahead and put. And you see how when I put it in there, there's a little oil. We're gonna put our onions there, and we're gonna kind of saute them a little. Now you can saute your onions first, but when I did it, when I sauteed my onions first, it was a little bit of. I put. I guess it was because you gotta put oil in your pan to saute your onions. And I think I put a little too much, so that's why I'm doing it this way. I do it this way now, and it comes out perfect, so. But you can do the sauteing your onions first in a little olive oil. 
and then throw your potatoes in. But this way is how I'm doing it today. So. Okay. Now, I'm going to saute these onions and bring you back once I get those a little sauteed. And that's all I'm going to do is wish them back and forth like this until they get uh, where they're a little see-through, kind of. Because they're going to cook a little bit more with the potatoes. I'm going to stir it all together, put the top on, and let them cook a little bit. So your potatoes don't have to be all the way done. You just want them to be crispy, you know. So. We'll see you in a second. Okay, now we're going to go and we're going to put a little measures dash, a little seasonal, and a little granulated garlic, okay? And I like putting it on my onions and then mixing it in, but I also put a little on top. Okay. Now you mix that in good. And then once I get it all mixed in, I'm going to put the top on it. And then we're going to cook out the rest of this oil out of our potatoes. And you want your onions to kind of cook down a little more too. You can also put a little Tony Sasseries in here. That would be really good too. But I'm not a spice person and that's why I don't really cook with it a lot. But um, my husband loves spice so I'll probably put a little on his when I put it on his plate. Okay. And that's mixed really good. And I'm going to put my top on and I'm gonna let it sit. Okay, and I'll bring you back once, and you're gonna let it sit for probably about four to five minutes while you're cooking your grits and your eggs. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, I just wanted to show you the finished product. product. You see it gets more crispier on the bottoms and stuff. But these are so yummy. My husband loves these. He gets excited every time I get I start cooking them. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Be blessed. Making my egg, about to pop it in some grits that are almost done. And he got scrambled. So, see y'all later. Bye, be blessed. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like these videos.